Welcome back everybody, some more everybody's golf on PlayStation 4, continuing our DLC series, we're going to look at the Inward Nine of Green Country Club, again we're going to use our long custom, custom? custom clubs to see what impact it has on our course management. Uh, we're going off the long tees because this is today's open course version of it, so it's long tees, normal, normal holes. Okay, so the question is how much difference does it make? And again, you can see we're pretty close to driving the green here. Um, we're on normal wind, so don't even need a power shot here. Uh, missed the impacts because you didn't have the power shot on. We'll see where that ends up. Oh, got a nice little kick from the edge of the fairway there. And we just ended up a bit short. Maybe the power shot might be the play there. It gives us a 35 yard approach. A little bit of wind. It's going to roll right. And it's going to pitch left. So what we're going to try and do is a little chip and roll. So get it up there and let it let it have a go at the pin. Go on. Yeah. <laughs> chip in eagle. I mean, it's easy with tornado cups, but um, even with normal cups, you can do it. <laughs> and always worth a try. Once you're in approach range, you know, read the slope and, and have a go. And you get your reward. So a good start. Hole eleven. It's a par four. So hole eleven, another par four. Again, this this one kicks right. Now I can drive the green here. Now the question is, do I have a decent line to it? Because the issue is going to be stopping the thing. So that tree's in the way. So I've got a couple of choices. And I think the one we're going to take is we're going to bend it. And we're going to have to go left to right here. I think. Yeah. We're going to have to go a little bit left to right. So what we're going to do? We're going to go. Down and right, and then up and left. Master of all. Got a little bit of bend on it. Oh, skip on the water. Go on. Yeah. I do like a water skip, but that was a little bit risky, as water skips go. Okay. So again, I could chip this, or I could, or I could um, putt it. But I think my chipping, chipping's in good shape today. So let's try another little chip and run. So we just pitch a little bit past. We let it roll. Oh, look at that. There we go. Another chip in eagle. In some ways, a little bit easier than a putt because the part of the roll you need to consider. It's like a very short putt. You're kind of starting your putt much further up. So you're trying to think about where you're going to land it and just putting it past. So two chipping eagles to start, which, you know, I'll take. It's a par three. It's a par three. Okay. Again, not a lot of wind here. But again, just going to be a little bit careful on where we land this because of that bunker. So let's just go a little bit past, try and get the ultra backspin on, which we managed. With a bit of luck, this will pitch and stop and come back a bit. There we go. So we pitch nice and safely. A little bit of backspin. Could have done with a bit more. But with a right side of the pin, if you see what I mean. Okay. So it'll break a little bit late. It's a bit more break at the end, and it's down now, so just need to be careful with this. Potential to go away past. It's the line right. Yeah, get in there. I'll take the birdie. So that's a decent start. It's a whole 13. Another par 4, but again, with the clubs we've got, this is a pretty drivable one. So again, look at that bunker. Just begging us to um, to end up in it. So how do we counter out that? Well, one option is to go short with the three wood, but that would be too short. So we'll stay on the one wood. And what we'll try and do is get the ultra backspin on it. Oh, that's way too short. Way too short. Mucked up the power there. I think that's going to end up in the bunker. Oh, just... Oh, that's the other way of doing it. Ah, uh, not quite. You could bounce it from in front, but no, bunker it is. So again, gives us another chance for a chip. So again, if you look at that slope there, it's going to roll to the right. And again, I'm going to go a little bit right as I come out. So maybe about there. Again, I'm going to lose a fair bit of power, so I probably want to hit. So if you look at the top gradations, I'm between two. I maybe want to go a whole one of those marks past. In fact, maybe one and a half. So it's that second to last marker. So to there, and then try and get a bit of top spin on it. With a bit of like that will pitch. Good, good. Just, oh, not quite. Needed even more power. For a but again, we had a crack at it. So let's go right edge and firm. And that should get us 
Get us our birdie. There we go. Nice birdie. Done and done. So six under. That's right. All oh, 14. It's a par five. So it's par five. Again, not really much wind. A little bit of a dog leg. So again, I might just want to shape this right to left. So we'll do that. We'll aim about there and we'll go like that. Got the super top spin on and a super side spin. So she'd bend round nicely. Oh, don't run out. Don't run out. Don't run out. Don't run out. Ah. Uh, I almost needed ultra side spin there. Don't take your eye off the gate. Okay. So it's going to kick right quite away. So we need to compensate for that. And again, we're going to lose a bit on the um, on the impact. And it's uphill. So I'm going to take the approach off and just pitch past it. Oh, it's not bad. Bit of ultra backspin. Now, it won't grip as much because of the lie, but it'll stop. Oh, that's enough. Oh, well, it didn't even stop. And that's the difference between in the rough makes that you'll get the ultra backspin on, but you just don't get the, the same effect. So it's either a tricky putt back or tricky chip back. I think we all know we're going to chip it. So again, just get it past and roll it. Ooh. Oh, I didn't quite read enough of the putt there, did I? So, still got a birdie putt. And we'll go left edge and firm. A bit of luck, that will drop. There we go. So we kept our birdie, but frankly we missed an eagle there. That first shot, if we'd have kept it up on the fairway, we'd have had a good chance of the eagle. fifteen. It's a par So 15 is a pretty straight par 4. So again, we're going to drive it. And this will all be about where it lands, I think. Oh, good shot. And again, what you're trying to do is set up your second shot. So you want a good position. You want to be on the on the nice short stuff, the fairway, but in a reasonable oh, position. So there you go, 26 yards. So we're on the short approach. It's going to roll a bit right. There's a little bit of wind. And it's a bit uphill. So again, we're going to try and pitch it past and roll it. Oh, line's not quite right. Yeah, under read the line, but the pace are uh, short as well, actually. For a birdie. But we've still got birdie putt. Nice easy birdie putt. So let's go left edge. Reasonably firm. Oh, I should drop. A birdie putt. Looks like it is to eight under. And we got a three, four, five finish. So the par three first. Oh, 16. It's a par three. Uh, 180, so it's not too long. It's not too long. And again, a bit of a headwind. So again, let's get this up there and try and stop it. Oh, good shot. Doesn't help that I put topspin on that, if I'm honest. Yeah, it's just going to skip past. Never mind. It was a mistake. Go going to pay attention. Chance for a birdie. So, I was going to say tough birdie putt, but that's a pretty much the flattest putt you'll have. So, we'll hit the flag. And that should just drop. Nice birdie. Lucky there, really. That was a nice pin position in terms of the putt. So par four next. Oh, 17. It's a par four. A little bit of a dog leg. Okay. So again, we'll put a bit of shape on this. So we can go down and right, up and left, hit the impact, hit the super spin. Bends nicely round. It'll pitch in the rough. That's okay. And it'll roll. So we should be in a reasonably good place. Yeah. So we're inside the 30 yard approach. We get the short approach markers. And again, we'll chip and roll it. So again, we've been under reading the green a little bit. So let's just go from maybe about there. And again, let's give it a chance to roll up there. Because it is a little yeah. bit of hill. Oh. And of course, a little bit. Well, pace was spot on, actually. Because you just do, do want to go a little bit past. But um, the read on the, on the green wasn't so great. But again, another birdie. And a par five to finish. So can we finish with an eagle? Last one. Oh, 18. It's a par five. Okay. So again, this one, dog legs round to the right. That's a narrow bit of the green there. So again, a little bit of shape on it. 
and nothing more really than just, just trying to bring it round and give ourselves more chance when we roll on the green. Oh, if that pitches and kicks, I'm in trouble. Yeah, it's just going to kick me left. That's okay, that's okay. It's 120 to go. Oh, not a lot of green to play with there, and it slopes quite viciously away to the left. So you almost you almost want to land there, to be honest. So I'll sort of aim there, and the wind might really bring it back. Just a little bit downhill. I've overhit that for sure. Master Hall. It's just faded right. That's all right. It's all right. It's a 30 foot for the eagle. Oh, for the eagle! Wow. So. Looks like it slopes up. Yeah, it looks like it slopes up and right. Yeah, brace to the right for sure. But how much is the question? Okay. Let's play it about there. I mean, if I get this within six foot, I'm going to be delighted. Hard work. Look at that. Oh! Nice. That's a ridiculous line. Ridiculous oh, line. Buddy. But again, I'm quite pleased with that part. If that had dropped, I'd have probably dropped the mic. But there you go. 11 under. I'm reasonably pleased with that. But you can see the difference that the longer clubs make. Just, you know, it's a completely different course with the longer clubs compared to the standard clubs. Let's see what we ended up on the, on the daily ranking for this. I don't think many people play the DLC courses. Oh, that's doing its thing where it struggles to connect, so we won't find out. Oh, we see how many people have played it. 120 people have played it. And I think on fairways and greens, we were pretty good today, actually. And your record. Yeah, yeah, we did, we did reasonably well. Okay, if you enjoyed that, please like. Oh, I've got my golf level back. Back to level 14. Uh, if you enjoyed that, please like, share, and subscribe. And I'll see you next time for a little bit more everybody's golf. Nice work.